hello good afternoon everyone thank you so much for tuning in to my page my channel wherever place whichever place where you're looking at this video from we are today may 9th 2014 and i really really wanted to come forward to you because i wanted to um speak about a um kind of like an issue that's going on in the haitian community i'm about Two or three days ago, I had a post on my Facebook, and I said that I really feel like um, the Haitian people need a lot of psychological help. And I felt like, you know, in our community, they are not teaching us how to use proper therapy. They're not teaching us, you know, to speak to someone. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of like, you know, once if you need to talk to someone or if you need automatically or you you portray as if you are someone who is crazy or you're someone, you know, it's just a whole thing. So, you know, it, it's, it, I got, first of all, I got a lot of personal inbox um, for that post. And I also, you know, had people who disagreed with me um, and I had people who agreed. So um, I knew that I was going to touch on that subject and I wanted to record it and um, to share it with everyone. And the reason that I say so is because I live it, you know, and um, I strongly believe that um, we definitely are in need. We are a nation, whether we are here in Haiti or whether we are anywhere else, we are a nation whom are not accustomed to receiving psychological attention. They have not, um, our parents, or um, it's not in our community, I mean, to go sit and speak to a therapist. And I wanted to talk about that because it is needed. It is extremely needed. And what I'm seeing that is becoming a, a grand issue in our community is suicide. I see a lot of young people who are taking their lives away. And, um, you know, young people, especially people who live um, elsewhere than Haiti, you know, and it's not something that was common, but it's also because we are not dealing with certain issues properly. We are not dealing with certain issues the way we are supposed to. And we don't, we are not trained to know and to see that, you know, someone is not doing well. That person is just not doing well that doesn't mean that that person is crazy that just means that that person is going to a tough time and needs a support you know and um i feel like it's hard it's very very hard for people to haitian people to reach out to others it's very hard and very difficult for haitian i know what i'm talking about i live with young people and you know i have to always with the young girls that leaves in my home i always have to talk to them and i always have to it's kind of like i always have to say are you okay is everything okay and i have to force them to talk and even then they don't want to talk and i also know so because i work with young people and when i mentor it's a very very it, it, they, they won't tell you they won't tell you they'll tell you that everything is okay yes everything is okay everything is always okay but everything is not okay everything is not always okay you know, we all go through stuff in lives. And I think it's about time that in schools and parenting, we include support system therapists in the Haitian community. I think it's crucial, you know, because what happens is in the Haitian community, our parents teaches us as you have food, you have shelter, you are clothed, you can go to school, you are fine. That's it like ou pas un problème you know while l'école ou manger ou dormir ou boire yo borat pou bagay it's good but that's not true you know that's not true automatically you're not supposed to have any problems just because you have a roof over your head you can eat you know they they always compare you to other folks they like oh pa wati mon la rue yo pa gagne rien but that's not true everybody to some extent has you know go through things and this is and this is the point where you can people can either take a bad turn with whatever um circumstances that they're going through people can either take a very very bad turn or people can take you know a depressing turn you know it's just everybody depending on um the person 
um, character, personality, because not everyone, some people, they go through things, but they can reach out. They may reach out to a friend. They may reach out to, you know, someone. They, they, they may feel um, um, trusted, and they, they may call someone and say, oh, listen, I'm going, but some people will not. Some people will keep everything inside, and you just don't know how that person is going to react. You don't know how that, that person is going to, you know, deal with that. And for you, it may be, oh, this is a petty issue, but it's not a petty issue. I will tell you two different stories, which I have like thousands of different stories, but I really want to keep this video short. I may just do a second part because I feel like this is something that definitely needs to be addressed. Um, about um, three years ago, probably the year that I, not even three years ago, about four years ago, the year that I was coming back to Haiti, there was a murder in Milton, Massachusetts. A young boy who assassinated almost everyone from his family. You know, I believe he was in his 20s, not, he wasn't even 25. He was probably, if he's 21, that's it. He assassinated all of his sisters. He, he chopped their heads off. Now, as of now, everybody was talking about that. They were Haitian. Everybody was talking about that. You know, you know, you know, the first thing that I heard from the Haitian people was like, Sebaga Jap. You know, there was a bunch of stories from people in Haiti, of course, who started, you know, to talk about magic. Who's, it's like, you know, it was crazy. But I always knew that you never know what people are going through. I'm not saying that what he did was right because he's dead. So that mother probably lost that day three children altogether three children because when they called the cops, the cops came and he was chopping the head off of his sister and they kept, you know how cops are, they kept telling him to put the weapon down, finally they shot him and he died. So three of the girls died and I think one girl, I believe she was eight year old, one girl, she managed to escape but she had a lot of wounds. But think about psychologically, that's gonna be with her for the rest of her life. He just woke up one morning and he lost it. Period. He woke up one morning and he lost it. He lost it. So I always, I never forgot that because I felt like what could have pushed him to do something like that? What triggered that? Because people don't just get up and do commit action like that. People don't get up and kill themselves. People don't just get up and murder someone. People don't get up and start doing drugs. People don't get up and start just going crazy. There is a strain of evil that happened that can take that person to one place to another place and I say so because myself I go through my own period and living in Haiti I don't get the support there is nowhere where I can go and I could you know seek um, professional help there is really nowhere no place in Haiti where I could just go and when I where I could seek professional help to help me deal with whatever that I'm going through. But thank God I am someone who is a little outspoken. I don't like to keep things inside. So I find people who are like-minded, you know, people who can understand the issues that I'm going through and I reach out to them. I always reach out to people. I manage to reach out to people so I can tell them, listen, hey, you know what? I'm just not doing so well. I'm going to a lot right now or I'm going to a moment and I really need some, you know, I need to talk. Sometimes you just need to talk. Sometimes you just need to let things out. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just, you're just going to a bad moment and you're like, God damn it, I'm just going through it. I, I need to talk. And you, you just talk and you let it out. But also what happens in the Haitian community is that you have people who are, um, you know, they are afraid. They are afraid to talk. You know, because the Haitian community, we are always afraid that if we share something with someone, that person is going to turn around and that person is going to put our business out. You know, they teach us that our business is our business. Yes and no. This is one of the reasons that professional help is, is, is great. But professional help for me never worked. 
I remember when I was in high school, there was always like, you know, a therapist, someone that you can go through right in high school that, you know, if you was in class, just whatever, there was just one person there that was, I remember in Cambridge, you know, you always could go and talk, but I could never relate to these people. I could never relate to them. Even when there was like right at the center right there, there was always like some professional. These people knew me by name because I was always there, but I would just go. But I could never relate to the professional people. Why? Because, you know, these people really, they would not understand the issues that I was going through. They were Caucasian people, you know, they were not immigrants. At the time I lived in the US, they, they were not immigrants. So they, they didn't, they could not relate to me. They could not relate. They, they were not Haitian. They did not really understand. I just, I, I couldn't deal with that. You know, it's just, it didn't work for me. So what I did, I spoke to people that could relate to me. I remember back then I used to work for um, Cambridge Senior Center and the supervisor that I had really connected with me. And I was, she was such a mentor for me. This is one of the reasons why I really wanted to address it because, you know, I'm able to find mentor mentorship and, you know, I'm, uh, I'm growing and I see the, 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 the importance of mentorship, of, what, of having someone to support you, not only, you know, financially, but morally, emotionally, you need the support. We are not, we need that in the Haitian community. We need to teach our children that we it is crucial it is important this is why we are going through so much and our children are getting lost you know parents you know I, there's so so many different level of things you know and as a matter of fact I'm going to cut this video right there and I'm going to speak about this I'm continuing to speak about this um, subject psychological help professional or you know mentorship within the Haitian community how we should address and tackle it all right see you soon for part two bye